Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. So it is a, it's a bit of a, a breezy day in the UK today. The um, It was red hot last night, um, red hot this morning when I got up and the clouds have come over and we've had a few drops of rain and it's quite breezy but I'm I'm really enjoying enjoying the cool breeze i have actually had to put some socks on my feet <laughs> it's that cool but um yeah it's probably quite warm outside but i'm i'm in the, the front of the house which is shaded at the moment and um yeah i'm just going to to get on with a little bit of crafting so before i go and start getting on with some some housework so neil's first day back at work today is it his first day back yes it's his first day back yes Oh, do you know what? Isn't that funny when your brain just shuts down on you? How how bizarre. Yeah, it's his, <laughs> I'm sure it is. It's his first day back. It's weird. It doesn't help when you film more than, more than once in a day as well. Not that very often I do, but um, I have been today. So, um, yeah, I'm just taking some white paper off something that's on my desk here, as you can see. So my idea is uh, just these three, because I'm, I'm working through tidying my desk again. Yet again, three brown envelopes um, that are just sitting here waiting to be utilised. Um, so that is like a is like a wage packet envelope or a coin envelope. This is um, a die cut one, uh, which will have been sent to me from somebody. And yeah, I'm not sure if that's a bought one. So I think yeah, I think that's a bought one. Come in a pack of a few, very very thick that one. Um, all lovely colours because I love the craft colour. So I'm just going to decorate them up and then they can go in in stash or in, where is it? I've got another journal ready to fill. Um, I think I've told you before, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm using up my digitals and um, oh, I'm using up everything that I've, I've just hoarded and not used for so long and uh, just making lots of, lots of journals as I go just for fun. Um, so this one is made up from... Yeah, all sorts of bits and pieces sitting around. It's not my favourite kind of journal, you know, like a scrappy journal. Um, I don't think I've particularly got much going on it in it. So that's stitched in there, so that's just a glued in pocket, just a page. So I think as I make things now, I will just put, you know, sometimes I must make and, you know, make more than one. But as I make things, oh, a sequin in there. I'm just going to pop one. I'll leave this on my desk. I'm just going to pop one of them in this journal because it is an eclectic um, type of grungy journal and yeah we'll soon have a journal filled and ready for a new home so yeah I, I, I didn't intend getting it out and showing you it but I, I ham <laughs> ham I'm not ham <laughs> yeah so it's paper bag all sorts of digitals that I've um, you know had over the years some new some older so lots of book page which I wanted to start putting more in my journals yeah, just when I've done, you know, scrappy little things, just sat playing um, at my desk on my own. It's just glued together once the backing on it. That's um, that's the Laura Ashley. I think that's the border paper. I've got the wallpaper to it as well. Another book page. Oh, I made it into a floaty pocket. Look, yeah, just just things I do when I'm not really thinking. Just sitting playing at my desk. You know, perhaps waiting for printing or something like that, which I can't. Um, oh, I might glue that down onto there, make a pocket of it. Anyway, we're not working on this now. You know, when I can't film, if there's if there's noise going on or things like that. So, um, yeah, that's that's the kind of thing I'll be I'll be working on. So, I'll um, I'll keep that on my desk. It may take a while to fill, but every time I do ephemera, and I'm going to be doing a few ephemera videos um, in the next couple of weeks because. <coughs> I don't know where you've been, but if, if you've been around, you'll know I'm going on holiday soon. Um, yeah, and I need to do some filming up in advance. Um, so there may be some shorter videos, or there may be some videos missing. I know you'll understand if I'm on my holidays. <laughs> and um, I'll do what I can, but yeah, I, I, I can't now see me because of my, uh, my sciatica. Can't see me getting all all the videos done for every day just because oh, good job it's scrappy isn't it just because um uh, I'm gonna say, yeah i'm going away for seven days but neil's got 17 days off so i don't want another one of those one to um, yeah some of those 
Um, yeah, so when we come back after our seven days off, uh, we will be going out, having days out and, um, you know, we might be going to see friends, we might have friends around. We, uh, we haven't been doing those things since before COVID. So, yeah, we might, might even, I don't know, have a couple of days decorating. Depends on the weather. So, yeah, I may, may get some filming done, but, um, yeah, I think for the next, for the next fortnight after the end of this week, um, yeah, I won't be around quite so much, so I don't know where I want. I'm going to leave those together because I just want just want some bits from front of here. Actually, there was a coloured one as well. So you, you'll have seen those were from. Did it say on the kit? On the on what kit it was? I've torn it off now anyway. So they're from the Nina collage type from one of her kits. Um, I think it might have been old envelopes and invoices. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, if you want to know what it was, if you wind back, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see that it says. Um, I don't know why I'm taking that off because I'm going to use bits of it rather than the whole thing. So just playing as I do. Right, let's let's get on with this. So what I don't know what I want. Haven't even thought about what I want. Um, I'm thinking that might be a nice one just um, down as a pocket because it's quite heavy. Yeah, so that will be the back glued down. Um, it would be good to have a, a tag yeah, down the side or the top, whichever way I put it down. So we'll, I just want the front of it really decorated. Okay, shall we go with this? Let's go with pink. Um, I also wanted to put some book page on it, but this is a rather lovely. This is the beauty of paper that's collaged. The work is all done for you. So... Rather than redo something that's done, I might just put this on it. I mean, I love this. Um, I don't think it's, it might be a fuchsia. It looks a bit like a fuchsia, but not, if you see what I mean. But there are lots of different um, types of fuchsias, aren't they? Um, and I can only remember the name of it. Oh, have we gone dry? No, we're all right because that's the flower fairy uh, cross stitch that i've got for my uh, holidays <laughs> was the fuchsia one so that's why the name is is in the front of my brain or on the on the tip of my tongue <laughs> if you're thinking gosh you can't normally remember the name of flowers i can remember things i just can't remember them when i'm filming well not all the time i do forget things in normal life as well but filming really you know it, it's uh it's like the curse of turning the camera on and all the vocabulary really leaves your head. <laughs> For some bizarre reason, I don't know. Obviously, your, your brain's like a computer. It's working in the background and you you just don't know it, do you? So, <laughs> eee, dear. So, I don't want to say his name because he's sleeping in the other room, but Mr S, the pussycat, is, um, yeah, his mummy's girl today. Oh, boy girl is staying home now i said i wanted that but i really like that rose there i like it all but it'd be easy doing a corner won't it i think um i think the female <laughs> that um he brought home the other day is stalking him because he's never asked to come in this morning he asked cried at the window you know the bedroom window underneath like um he knows that's where we are because we look out the window at him and normally he just looks at you and walks away but this morning he was looking at me like open the door come down and open the door <laughs> um, and and he was looking round like there was something there i couldn't see any, anything or anybody there anyway he came in and he's i mean neil was still home then he went up to the bedroom to see neil and he's just hung around, followed me around from room to room to room and then once Neil went to work completely, he is a bit clingy sometimes when Neil goes to work on his first shift, but, you know, completely has to be in every room with me all the time. And then um, I heard a noise in the garden. I was resting my legs on the bed. I went out and, uh, yes, big bird, as I call her. <laughs> no idea what her name is. So the huge black and white cat. You're all saying to me, you think it's a main, main coon? And uh, yeah, Neil, Neil said the same thing. He he thinks it is too. Um, and I've seen them. I have seen them. I wonder if I can use a, a punch on there and get any kind of a anything like. Let's try it. 
on the television, but they're all they all seem to be like a, a sort of a tabby um, colour, and they seem to have pointy ears, which this one hasn't particularly. He's got quite blunt features, but he's a, he is the si same size as a what is it a Maine coon, and. Um, Oh, that worked out okay, I think. Oh, they're not my scissors. So, yeah, we think it maybe is. I presume that perhaps there are different, I don't know, what are they, breeds within the breed? I don't know. Not just a little bit longer, but it did get me kind of the shape I wanted. So, yeah, you, you might well be right. That might be what it, it must be, because it's, I don't know any other cat breeds that are that big, and it is big. Well, I'm quite impressed with how well that went. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to cut round there, so that's a bus going past. I've got got the windows open, like I say, it's a bit cool. So yeah, so he is uh, no tales to tell except for he's been stalked by a female. <laughs> so, and you know, like I said the other day when she came, she doesn't, she's not scared of us, so she didn't like run off. She was laid right outside the back door. So um. And he's looking at me like he got up on the windowsill and I'd look as well because he knows he's looking at me like can you see the problem I've got mum <laughs> I love that um so I went and got <laughs> you're gonna laugh I went and got a wet cloth from the the bathroom and just dripped a few not on it <laughs> but it's the way it's the way to move a cat you know whether it be your cat or somebody else's cat is is drip some water near it there are very few cats that don't mind water on or near them I mean, you only have to, you know, shake your hand with a few drips near Simbra and he's, he's out of there. <laughs> so, yeah, if you've got if you've got cats that uh, you don't want, just don't don't throw it on them. That would be a little bit mean, but you throw some water near them. You know, even if it's a lot and it just lands slap on the path. Um, nine times out of ten, they'll be like, ta <laughs> see ya. Oh, how rude. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I dropped a whole wet cloth out because it, it was was one that was going in the it was from the bathroom sink it was going in the bin and it, it you know it kind of I didn't want to throw water out the window at it in case it it did get it so I just dropped this wet cloth near it and it just looked at me like that was very rude <laughs> love that and uh yeah it, it walked off around the corner but then sat down on the path again so when we went down later um I opened the door for him to go out he just sat on the doorstep. The cat had gone then. He just sat on the doorstep and looked out. But, um, yeah, he, he wasn't interested. He came back in again with me. So, if it wasn't for that cat, I'd say perhaps it was the heat that had got a bit of heat stroke or whatever. And, of course, I've had, I've had a couple of conversations with Tanya this morning and uh, Simba had to be in there. He thinks I'm talking to him, I think, and he's uh, constantly meowing and what have you. Well, that's the one I ripped. Um, what do I want on the top of it? I'm thinking some lace might be nice. Is this only near me? I've got some very colourful there. I've had all my lace out for doing other things and now I've moved it all into various places. Where is it? Um... What's with this? Why are you not with this now? Right, let's see. None of those colours are really going to go, are they? I really want some cream. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely didn't go. And, um, yeah, I usually have one thing under my desk and that's gone as well. The uh, the lace thief has been... I've got some, got some pink even, but I want cream. How very annoying. No, it's not it's not what I want. Um oh what's that? I might, might spy some. No, I haven't. I haven't. I've got this which is that um decal trim that I scored at the, that's quite nice actually. At the charity shop this this piece. It's very similar, not the same as what I've seen, you know, other people with. Well that's nice because it kind of goes over the hmm over the edge of the flap as well. It's plasticky though, so it takes a little bit of gluing down. But 
you I don't want anything like that much want another half an inch off there what do I think to that with the, uh, the craft card underneath it I don't know Maybe I want some paper under it first, just a strip of pink. Um, oops. Maybe take a piece off this. I don't want to cut into that rose, that's a lovely piece. Or oh, this bottom piece here would be nice, look. Yeah, I don't want to make it fit particularly, so let's try a bit of a rip. I can just take the bottom of the stalk off there without harming that beautiful flower. Got a lot of white. Yep, tear it down again now. It's just the right size without the white on, I think. Yep, so I thought I'd come on and do something nice and I was gonna say lazy, it's not lazy, easy. <laughs> Bit of gentle embellishing and creating. So yeah, I think when that's over the top of it. Yeah, it looks just like a brown t uh, tab, doesn't it? Rather than um, just a brown bit sticking out. <laughs> so I hope you're you're all well. Have you got anything to tell me? What are you guys up to? Like I say, it's going to be a, a bit of organising and a bit of resting. And maybe, yeah, I like that. I like the fact that it I might have wanted just a touch shorter. <laughs> Just so you can get that flap up. Yeah, it's a funny old day weather-wise as well. So, I mean, it's nice. It's been so hot. It's been a little bit... Uh, not quite unbearable, but nearly. Nearly unbearable. I said I wouldn't complain about the heat, and I'm not going to. Because, uh, yeah, twice turn around and it'll be gone, won't it? And it'll be cool again. Yeah, I like that. I could trim the bottom there if I want to, but I don't think I do. Um, I'm, I'm thinking a nice piece of pink uh, ribbon would be just that really thin ribbon. Oh, have I got some in my... Oops. Short stretch like that. Oh. I meant even thinner than that. I've got some even thinner. But have I got any of it in here? Oh. I can't see any. I think I might just have to pop away and get some because I really want some on there. It is only up and to the left, I think. Just bear with me. Two minutes. I'll leave it there for you to have a little look at. Look. On the top but it doesn't want to come out oh there look why is that just as thick i thought it was thinner i think i've got a thinner one i was sure i had i have i have sent to me by the lovely tanya one I was thinking just a tiny oh it is getting dark yeah I had uh, had all my laundry out this morning and uh, came upstairs to rest on the on the bed that's what I'm doing every half an hour or so putting my feet up um so I'm keeping moving and then resting I think the two things are what's needed right this might be a bit a bit tricky but um now Fabri-Tac would be better but it can be messy. So let's try, try our best. Yeah, so I'd got, well, my washing's been out a while actually. And this is what I mean, it was red hot. Um, it was mostly dry, but yeah, big, big spots were hitting the window of rain. So I had to pop down and bring it all in. But it's, it's nearly all dry, which shows me how hot it actually has been out there because not been out that long and a cut piece. 
um, yeah, because things are drying so quickly on the line, I'm not I'm not spinning my clothes very much. I'm putting them out quite wet, not quite dripping wet, but you know, like one one step above, <laughs> very nearly dripping wet. And they, you know, they don't crease so much. Then they they drip as they dry, and the creases fall out because you know if you you spin them fairly dry and then they dry like instantly in the heat. The creases don't get a chance to they to drop out. Then you have to iron. Ooh. Very few things I iron now. Love that. I'm really pleased with that. The pink's making me very cheerful. So ooh, I wanted it to be a quick one and here I am. Still on number one. Oh. Just want a label on it so that it feels feels completed hmm. oh dear, I might like that actually I don't use that one very often so I will um, be, with it being that tag shape and that way up it doesn't often go on a lot of the projects I do so that one does so let's have that again this is one of uh, Nanine's the collage type uh, yeah I don't know what kit it's from it could be from the Willow and Fern, but it equally could be from the planner, like that. Yeah, and, and obviously it can be um, titivated up more, embellished more, depending on you know what it's going into. But yeah, really pleased with that. Let's put that over there because I'm determined to get these two done and not be too long about it. Okay, so. I don't even know if that's the right way up. Yes, it is. <laughs> I definitely want to put something on the inside of the flap because it keeps it keeps gluing itself down together. Right, where am I going? I've got a bit of a line now, so I don't want all of this on, but I love these little. Just just decided I like these angels sitting here having a. I don't know what they're having. A conversation or a rest or something. Nibble, nibble. <laughs> it's not going to get any better. So, yeah, I like that. So I'm thinking some some kind of book page behind this will be nice. On here. Um, let's grab that. Grab some down. So slightly different colour. That one's nice. They're very much the same colour though. No, not really. It's just this is very much different colour. No, I'm liking this one. I won't be picking, go through loads. A guide to literature. Or oh, the literature. Where was it bent? Might as well tear it up where it's bent. And I want bottom left, so I want it down here. That'll be a nice, nice piece for a cluster. And again, I want to see some of the. I don't necessarily need it all on, do I? Oh, I probably do. It's easier, I think, if I put it all on. Um, yeah, I want to see a bit of the the brown paper, brown paper, the brown envelope behind. It's, it's that nice colour of paper that when you put the brown on the edge, you know, the, the vintageness of the rest of it shows. Yeah, I like that. I'll just have a, a bit less there, I think. In fact, I might have all that off. That's better. It's a bit more naturally aged. That's what I was looking for. Okay. I'm doing well with this glue, aren't I? <laughs> I still haven't gone on and done that yet. Ordered, oh, ordered some more. That's me bragging. <laughs> Not doing well with it now. Chucking it everywhere. Oh, there we go. I'm really looking forward to doing my, uh, my cross stitch on holiday, actually. I was thinking, shall I take anything craft-wise with me? 
I think I wanted a bit of something up there. Should we put a pop of colour or something? I've got a piece of that. I've just got two little bits out the top of me. Ow! Ooh! Ooh! I bent my thumb. Ooh, top of my scrap box. That's quite nice, isn't it? Let's not try anything else. If we've, we've found something we like. Um, yeah, and I don't think I'm going to take any crafting with me. And I might regret it, but I don't think so. Because I intend to spend the time, you know, with Neil. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I wanted, a, I wanted a book, but I can't find one that, that's really grabbing me. You know, you have to be in the mood for a certain sort of thing for books. And, uh, yeah, just, just recently I really struggled to find books that I enjoy. I mean, reading used to be my biggest... Uh, relaxation you know my favorite thing especially on holiday but yeah just just recently gone right off reading so i've got the cross stitch i think i'll probably take some fussy cutting because you can do that without thinking can't you the cross stitch you know i don't know how my eyes are going to hold up and uh, yeah you have to concentrate with cross stitch so i think that's all i'll do um because of course i'll have my journal i'm taking my journal um to do a bit of journaling so you know there'll be a few there'll be i'll have a piece of glue and <laughs> perhaps a stick of glue in my staples because i'll be adding things into my journal actually on my holidays if i get chance now if it's if we're busy busy all day and all night and then just sleeping then i won't i'm not going to force myself shall we just have that up there Going to catch it? No, not quite. Need a bit more of it. I just want to catch the title on the top. Let's just take that long piece off because we might use that somewhere. Mm. Will that catch it? Just, I think. So I'm just going to put glue on this and then stick that on it and then cut round it for ease, hopefully. And you can see how how gluey it is. Oh, I didn't. Uh, didn't ink it, but never mind. There's scissors. Oh, I cut threads on the sewing machine from and they've, they've made it onto my table. Now I need to get them off it because they're not good for much else other than cutting cotton threads. Oops, they're not stuck down yet. Um, what happened to my cloth? Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll let that dry. I think because it's such a small piece before I uh, I ink it. And do I want anything on that? I don't want anything much. Where was that? What is it that we pulled off? Reviews of current articles. That will do. That will do nicely. I'm not going to ink that either. Just ties the back into the front. Um, you know, should it not go down on the page? Should it be a pocket? Think about just a piece of that on there. What else have I got? A piece of that. Just thinking this side here. I don't want anything much. It just wants a pop of something. I've still got my beautiful roses there. Just a little pop of pink. The tiniest little... That's two. Fairly quick. Whoopsie. Stay in the lines, Denise. <laughs> I'll have the pink up top. That's it. A bit of paper stuck there. We've ended up with a 52. Look, we can't get rid of that. Can get rid of that though. Um, where'd it go? Where's the other one I've just done? Gone. I'll put it over there. That's it. Just so it can look at them at the end. Might want a, a big black number or something on there, but we'll see. So this this little beauty, and I'm looking at this now. Oh, there's a misprint on the other side. Again, I'm just loving these. Um, you know, already done for your papers. So how can I get that off there? I want to try and get 
some of the top bit in so so this is thicker paper it's I think it's the 120 it'd be 160 actually yeah I think it's 160 GSM that I do the journal pages out of mostly so I think I'm just going to do exactly the same here I'm going to do um, collage front cover not collage front and back because you know it may go down as a sideways on envelope but it may go into a what a pocket <laughs> so it could go down as a pocket or it could go into a pocket that could go down as an envelope oh we don't want that side <laughs> that would be a wild rip like i say i'm happy to see don't know where it's gone there oh gosh, Denise. happy to see some of the brown yeah i need a bit more off there the craft color i knew you was going to do that why did you do it then if you knew <laughs> well, that's yeah that's fine i love the fact that there's that little bit of spare for writing on the front got a sleeveless well a strappy summer dress on that I only wear around the house and it's really hot it's uh yeah I haven't I've not got the arms for you know spaghetti straps out and about definitely not not now um yeah it's definitely too big there <laughs> I'm gonna have to come down some more so yeah I just wear it in the house for coolness sake but it keeps it's not good for crafting in I've discovered it keeps falling off my arms my shoulders, not my arms, my shoulders. Oh dear, I left the lid off. And we're getting quite empty as well, so. Maybe not, there's still a fair bit coming out. But this it is very thick. Um, porous, is it the word? It drinks up the glue, this, this piece of craft, this one particularly. You can feel by the texture of it. Ooh. Yeah, so they all kind of go together, don't they? If they, you know, if they end up in the same journal. Quite like that craft coloured back. Um, oops. I was thinking about one of these, wasn't I? Do you know what? I wonder if one of those would be nice actually on there as a flap. If I could make it, you know, fit. Let's try. This one could be a good candidate. Fling that piece of rubbish. Don't bother putting it in the bin, Denise. Hmm, it's too big. There were some more. Were there any smaller ones? Or any that could become smaller. Not really. Let's see another one. No, you're all big, aren't you? So maybe I could do Yeah, maybe we could. Let's pencil. So much for me in a quick video. <laughs> Did you know when I started? Should be looking. Do you know what? I had five envelopes and I uh, I put two back and I thought, no, I'm doing a 30 minute video. <laughs> I was convinced of it. So imagine if I had all five out. Okay. What do you look like? Oh yeah, you look quite nice. So as a... It's upside down, isn't it? Still too big though. So much for my measuring. Why well, shall I take it off the bottom? If I can. Do it slowly. With purpose, that was better. So yeah, we're alright that way now. It was quite big this way. I just love tearing little bits, don't I? Look, look how small that is now. <laughs> but yeah, that's more, more what I want. 
Um, wish it was on the, the coloured paper. I really need to back. I really need to back it onto something. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> See, it's nice having a messy desk and having things just laying around on it. Yeah, that's nice and thick, actually. I thought something on there, though. Right, make sure you stick the two white bits together. They're into an upside down there, is there? Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. I want it ripped, so that's why I'm not going in the corner. I want that kind of ripped look. Now, I'll also be able to lengthen it, widen it a little bit, won't I? As long as I ink it. A little bit, not too much, but... Oh! Let go of me. Can you hear the wind? I wonder if you can. It's not really loud, but it's blown quite a bit. And so, those white bits where I've lengthened it, if I just colour them in, should it look something like part of the actual piece. <laughs> I'm completely missed then. side then when it opens out it's you know it's not stark white it still looks like a a document on some fancy paper and we've got the dark bit at the bottom as well which I quite like so I'm going to put that on there like that and I'm going to use fabric tack so I can move it around a little bit or oh, three in one which I've named Pretend Fabri-Tac. <laughs> it's definitely different to some degree. If only the smell. See, I needed to move it over a little bit. If I'd have done that with the, uh, what's the other glue? Uh, glitter, which hasn't got its lid on again, Denise. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm thinking a little bit of stamp, stamping between the two there. I might tie them together so it will be open probably that way, won't it? Where's my little... Hmm. Good question. Nowhere to be seen, my text stamp. So I've got, well I've got some little um, tickets, if I don't press them too hard so you can't read them because I think they're, uh, they're to do with postal. And maybe put one up here, not on there. Oh that one says Paris. Do this one again a bit. Let's do it like that so we miss. That's it. Yeah, that's better. That's just tied it in a little bit, hasn't it? Quite like that as well. Now it's like a double sided. You can open it either way, can't you? Although that is upside down. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call that a video and um, you will see these in upcoming. <laughs> Lost them. Lost them again. Oh, mean at journal fillings, I really have. I wonder there. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Messy desk. Messy life. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, they're pretty. I've enjoyed playing with them. They haven't taken long. I'm going to have that one fastened down. I get a lot of stuff in there as well. And that one, yeah, that was quite interesting to play with, that. I had fun. 
okay let me know what you're up to thumbs up would be really really appreciated and i will see you soon hope you have a lovely day bye for now